Hello again, Crazy Canuck coming back at you from snowy Saskatchewan, Canada. Thought I'd do a, an update on the grow light uh, trial here. And I need to pull out one of these lights for that other project of the container grow. So this will be uh, probably the last update on this system since I don't have enough grow lights. Um, what I'm finding is conductivity 2300 is extremely high now that is probably one of the reasons this isn't doing as well as I'd hoped but here's a, a little trick to doing a soil uh, check to see if your soil is uh, biological energy or is it salt energy where this heater is The conductivity is half of what it was over in the other part of the grow bed. Now, in a salt environment, when the soil dries out, the salts concentrate and your EC will increase. In a biological environment, when it dries out, your biology shuts down and your conductivity will drop so this is all biological energy but I think it's still way too high for the plants to grow properly uh, the target I would like to see is around a thousand eleven hundred that that's all and another thing with this system I've got 56 degrees Fahrenheit in soil temperature which is low now a few things I would do different and will do different in the future is instead of a little air heater which which really heats the center and it cools off as you go to the ends I will put in heat cables uh, the ones I found on Amazon were probably about the best ones I've seen and you can get a thermostat for them because I would like to see the soil temperature up around 70 at least now as far as the results go if you look at the comparison between the lettuce on the hidden harvest grow side and the, and the other side if you remember from the previous video the lettuce on the grow light side here with the T5s was much better than over here under the shop lights since then this lettuce under the hidden harvest grow lights has really caught up to the lettuce on the other side so that is one success point of these grow lights compared to the uh, T5s. Not to mention that on the T5 side there's 212 watts. On the grow light side over here on Hidden Harvest there is like 70 watts. Huge difference. So if you can grow the same amount of plant material with that much of a reduction in wattage then increasing your wattage say to oh I don't know 120 watts you're adding a another panel so I've only got two panels in this side and I should actually have three so if I increased that by a third I'm sure everything would do a lot better but that being said another thing on a result on this uh, grow bed you notice Weeds aren't doing too good. And if you talk to any university educated agronomist and you tell them that weeds and will not grow in good soil, they will laugh at you. I know, it happens to me all the time. But your weeds and your plants, your crops are totally different. And like I said in the other video, when one goes up, the other goes down. If your weeds are competing with your crop, you're feeding the wrong species. So now, of course, lamb's quarters is doing really well, and that makes a really great salad anyway. So this is one of the ones that I, I would actually mix with the lettuce. It's probably got a lot more minerals for you anyway. So I bricks tested both of these. Uh, they're still pretty crappy. And as you can see, they're still my little friends on here. 
Not as many as before, but they're still there. And now where the where they weren't, there is now aphids over on this side. So this was an interesting little experiment. It's the first time I've ever done something like this. But uh, the bricks on the on the uh, uh, hidden harvest grow light side was still only four bricks, but on the T5 side it was three bricks. So the, kind of there's your results your, uh, because of other factors and I'll, I'll play around with that and and uh, one thing I would probably do is is uh, besides have a salad is work up this soil and add peat moss to bring that conductivity down and possibly add some calcium which will also bring that uh, that uh, conductivity number down and I'm sure that would increase the bricks on the plants substantially. So I think they're having a really hard time growing in, in soil that's sitting at, uh, at 2,000, 2,300 on a, on a brick, on a EC meter, plus cold soil. So I got some more experiments to do, but I am uh, wanting to pull one of these lights out and put it in for that container, uh, container project that I have a video on. And, uh, show you how that's going to work. But for now, looks like uh, grow lights from Hidden Harvest are the winner, as I expected. And especially when you're talking 70 watts instead of 212. That's a huge, huge difference. You can put a lot more Harvest grow lights in for the same wattage and have way better light. So, there you have it. Uh, winner has been announced and I will have a salad and then redo this experiment after I do some amending and we'll see how that works. Uh, that's it for now. Subscribe if you haven't, like if you like, uh, comment below, check out the show more for links and all that good stuff. We'll talk to you soon.